Wow. Meantime, Fairfax County Public Schools issuing an apology after playing privilege bingo in the classroom. You know, not math or science, but privilege bingo. The game labels students in military families, among others, as quote-unquote privileged, even though their loved ones put their lives on the line for our freedom. Joining us now, Joe Mobley, disabled U.S. Army veteran and Virginia father of four. And Joe, let's be clear. The privilege that they're referring to in this game is not the honor of defending our flag, of defending our country. It's this woke sense that you should feel guilty for every single thing you do. When you heard about this, could you believe it? You know, this is absolutely absurd, Todd, and thanks for having me on. And I almost never use the word unbelievable because most things, you know, are believable, but this goes to the line and beyond. It's absolutely absurd. And of course, it's coming out of Northern Virginia. Um, of course, they're playing privilege bingo with the kids instead of, you know, reading, writing, arithmetic, math. It's unbelievable. Here are some of the examples. Let's go through the list here. Military kid at the top of the list, feeling safe around police officers, being male, being heterosexual, <clears throat> and being white. Let's focus on the military kid one. How out of touch are the people who created this curriculum as to the struggles of military families? The most notable struggle being you don't know if mom or dad is going to come home alive. That's absolutely right. You get to basic training before your military career even starts. They give you an ID tag. We call it a dog tag. And it identifies you. And it's designed in such a way that should you perish on the battlefield, that one of your friends can take a piece of that tag just so they can identify you and have record. The next thing they do is they give you a weapon to defend your life with. And probably the third thing they do is teach you how to carry uh, one of your comrades if they should fall. Not the hallmarks of a privileged job, a highbrow job. You know, my kids, for for most of their lives, had never had a blood relative that wasn't a parent at a birthday, at a Christmas, at a Thanksgiving, because we lived 1,500 miles from the nearest relative. And to look at them and to say that they're privileged because their military family is absolutely unacceptable. All of our friend groups had grandma, had grandpa, had aunts and uncles and cousins, had family that they could rely on. Meanwhile, military families don't even know what that's like. That's why we move right. all the time. We're constantly uh, sunsetting relationships and trying to develop new ones. And quite frankly, it's incredibly destabilizing to a marriage. It's destabilizing to children and their development. So this is completely out of touch. It's, it's offensive. And it's just an indicator that the leadership in these schools needs to change. You mentioned that Virginia seems to be ground zero for this woke stuff. Is Glenn Youngkin, the new governor, going to get rid of it all? <laughs> I I really think that Glenn Youngkin, uh, Winsome Sears, and Jason Miaras are the right team for the job. I think they're doing a full court press. Uh, and we're seeing executive orders come out uh, of the governor's office, which is great. But I, I truly believe that they're poised uh, to make legislative change, uh, to make change that will outlast his administration. I think he's got the right skills, the right mindset. I think he's got the right acumen. I think right. Virginia is going to be leading the fight. Joe Mobley, we appreciate your insight. This is a head scratcher of head scratchers. Thanks for your service. Thanks for your time. Carly.